Hey YouTube, this is Clint from CT Madden Mods and today I'm working on a Samurai. So here's what I got. I got a Trail Tough Mighty Kong transfer case cradle. I got a set of Siamese Twins twin sticks. I got an adapter to adapt Toyota flange to the transfer case. I just had this Toyota flange and slip yoke welded onto my um, to my front drive shaft. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna crawl underneath there, I'm gonna pull that transfer case out, and we're gonna get this stuff bolted up. Now you guys have seen me pull a transfer case out before. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, four bolts on this side and four bolts on that side, and you gotta disconnect your drive lines. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with all that because everybody's seen somebody pull a transfer case out. So I'll bring you back whenever I get my transfer case out. All right, I went ahead and dropped this cradle in here to make sure that it fit and uh, it fits right in there. So just wanted to verify that before I go and bolt a transfer case to it. So this last summer I put a 6.5 gear in this and um, should have done the twin sticks back then, but I didn't, hindsight. So what the twin sticks does is it separates them two shifting rods inside there. So whenever you go and you shift one of them, I'll go into four low and four high, or low gear and high gear rather. The other one goes two wheel drive and four wheel drive. It just separates the two. Normally whenever you have uh, the regular shifter, it, it goes two high to four wheel drive high and then into neutral and then into four low. In Alaska, a lot of the trails that we ride aren't very technical and so I like to be in two wheel drive low. For one, I, I like having the uh, turning radius of not having the front end locked up in four wheel drive and I don't necessarily need four wheel drive a lot of times, but I do appreciate a good low gear and being able to creep around the trails. And so I like having the ability to put it in two wheel drive um, low gear and instead of having to get out and lock and unlock them hubs, I can uh, just, from the cab, I can throw it into four wheel drive or two wheel drive and then keep it in low gear all the time. So that's what we're doing today. That's why I'm doing it. And uh, a lot of people say it's not, a, it's not necessarily a real uh, twin stick, but it does exactly what I want it to do, which is switches it in and out of uh, two wheel drive and four wheel drive and keeps it in low gear. So that's why I'm doing this. To some issues with the fitment on this uh, twin stick um, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit easily and I didn't feel like fighting it today so I'm just gonna go with uh, my original shifter I'm just gonna throw it on there I already threw the adapter on there for the Toyota parts and um, I'm gonna throw this thing back in I don't want to spend all day over here I don't have the shifter boots anyways so I was gonna have to come up with some kind of hokey solution. Um, I think I'm gonna do something else. I want the twin sticks, but I don't know if I'm gonna go with this set that I have. Maybe I'll put them up for sale and actually get the generation two twin sticks. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but what I am gonna do right now is throw this transfer case back in and uh, get on the road. I got a lot to do today, so didn't feel like messing with this all day. Okay, I got this transfer case mounted in this cradle and uh, that went pretty well so I'm about to throw it in and uh, I know this is going to be a short video but I got things I got to do today so I'm gonna throw it in real quick and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little more well unfortunately I ran out of time last night it started snowing big time and I needed to get home it was getting dark so I took off and came home uh, everything works four-wheel drive works there's a slight vibration in second gear, and I'm sure that's just the drive line's probably not balanced or something, but um, in third gear, it settles down. Um, unfortunately, I didn't put those twin sticks in, and I need to figure that out. I just didn't like the fitment. Uh, I kept on trying to put it in, and I was starting to get frustrated with it, and I wasn't about to bust the case open, only to find out that they weren't gonna fit at all, so. I just aborted that mission. 
Um, but everything's working pretty good. Uh, had Shannon stop by and picked up some parts from Randy Gibbs and uh, she got to go through the, the Samurai and check it out. And we talked a lot. So that's kind of, I'm not blaming it on her, but I was on a time crunch. And so I just kind of um, put the cradle in and put the drive line in, finished everything up and went home. So uh, sorry I didn't get more on film, but it is what it is. I was by myself and had a time crunch. So thanks for watching my videos. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I appreciate all, appreciate all the followers. Thanks guys.